Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new here, my name is Sam and today I will be doing another What's in My Work Bag 2020 edition. <laughs> Last year I did this, I think around June or July. Since then, I've actually purchased a new work bag and have some new things that I consider essentials to bring to work with me every day or to just bring with you when you're out and about. Some of the things from my previous video are a little similar, so if they are, that just means that I really like the things that I had previously shown you guys. So, the bag oh my god, it's so heavy. Okay, so the bag that I have right here is the Tumi Stantanoni. Also, my straps keep falling down. I'm so sorry if that happens and you get annoyed with it. This bag I purchased from the brand to me and one of the main reasons I purchased it is because I travel for work on a weekly basis at the moment um, so my current project is a travel project so I'm on an airplane constantly through airports so I needed a bag that was best fit for both the travel type of lifestyle and I just needed a bag that was going to be suitable for a regular work lifestyle full-time job sometimes pretty long hours in the office etc so this bag does both now let's get into the items that are in the bag the first in my laptop compartment or in the same compartment as my laptop i have this planner that i use on a day-to-day -day basis i typically use digital calendars or like digital planners so like asana trello um google calendars and whatnot just because i like how everything how everything syncs so you can access your plans or your to-do list on any device however there's always a need for me to just have a to-do list that I can write by hand this planner is also super well formatted it's probably one of my favorite planners that I've ever bought and I like the fact that it's so large and has both a calendar view and a weekly view and a note section in the back as well as some tabs for the different months so that's great I got it from Target next up in my laptop compartment as well I just have my work computer this computer is just the MacBook Pro. It fits super well in the compartment and I'm very happy about that. That was like one of the main features that I really wanted in this tote. Even though I'm only taking my work computer with me on a daily basis, when I do travel or if I wanted to bring this bag on like vacation or something like that, this bag also fits my personal computer. In the other compartment to the front of the bag, here I have my notebook. This notebook is just a blank notebook so i like to use this again when i'm at work or when i'm at home and i just have some thoughts that i like to write down real quick i find that writing although it takes slower and i can't really read my handwriting it helps me get my thoughts organized and then i'm able to transfer whatever super important onto my digital planner and whatnot so this is just it's not designated for any one thing but i always find use out of it no matter where i am also within this compartment and i probably should find a better way to store this but here is my phone charger this is just the regular iphone charger and i just keep it in my bag in a compartment that's kind of separate from all the other things when i put it in the main compartment it always gets tangled with everything else and then it makes the charger break a little bit easier so next one of my favorite purchases ever this is the brita water bottle it has like a little brita shaw on the inside and a little filter for the water bottle specifically this is definitely one of the best purchases that I've ever bought simply because I am the worst at staying hydrated and I unfortunately have this quality about myself where I can like taste the difference between sink water or bottled water. This water bottle makes all water just taste like the same which is amazing because I no longer have like a weird taste in my mouth after drinking sink water. I literally put this under the faucet in like the hotel room or my bathroom and it makes the water taste just like bottled water so I've never been so hydrated as I've been right now just because I'm actually like inclined to drink the water out of my reusable water bottle so definitely the best thing ever I'm so happy with this purchase and I love the size of it too it's so easily stored just in my tote or in any backpack so I'm a big fan of this additionally in this compartment I have this umbrella because you never know when it's gonna rain outside especially when you work in New Jersey, New York, and Florida, so <laughs> both of these states are just very unpredictable weather-wise. I like this umbrella a lot because it's super compact and it just has a little Velcro feature, so when you're not using it, you can just fold it up and put it in your bag. On to the next item in this bag. Here's just a little coach wallet that used to be a wristlet. I use this to store all of like my medical cards or my insurance cards, things that you should just have on hand with you but that you don't need to access at all times. I used to have all my medical cards and insurance cards and whatnot stored in the same compartment or wallet as like my credit cards and items that I would use on a daily basis, but that just got super crowded and made the wallet super bulky and I felt like I was always just wasting so much time trying to find like my actual credit card and license and whatnot. So storing my medical cards in a separate little bag slash wallet 
has made life a ton easier. On to my glasses. So these glasses are just my prescription glasses. Um, I've had these for like eight years now, a little over eight years now, so I definitely need a new pair, but they help me see, so that's what matters. So here's my actual wallet that I use on a daily basis. I actually got this from Marshalls, and it's my favorite purchase next to the Brita water bottle that I've ever gotten. This is great because it's just a super small compartment, and I put like the few credit cards or debit cards that I have along with like my corporate card and I guess rewards cards or I don't know if you're a member of like a coffee place nearby and you constantly are taking out the rewards card because you get coffee like three times a day this is a great spot to put it now onto these blue light glasses these glasses I've actually talked about in my last what's in my work bag video pretty much blue light glasses are supposed to just protect your eyes from the blue light that comes from your computer screen iPad, iPhone, TV, any type of digital screen. I feel like they protect my eyes from getting strained or as strained after looking at my computer for most of the hours of the day. Next up, I have my little computer charger in the same case that I showed in my last What's in My Work Bag video. This case is great because it protects your computer charger from getting super tangled or like, I guess, like stuck on everything in your bag. I feel like before having a computer charging case I would always just find myself like pulling at my charger and seeing it break and having my charges break a lot easier however with a case like this that's not necessarily the case I feel like my chargers last for a ton longer and I don't find them being broken as easily or experiencing as much wear and tear as I would without having a case like this onto the little side pockets towards the front of the bag first I have my work badge this badge is just the badge that I need in order to get into my building at work. I like to just put it in an area that's easiest to reach so I can grab it real quick whenever I'm walking into work and then take it off and put it directly into the little pouch when I'm leaving work so that way I don't lose it or forget to put it on the next day. Also in that little pouch I have both phones or I'm able to fit both of my cell phones. This is just my work phone and this is my personal phone. I typically don't actually have both of my phones in the bag at once, like I normally am walking with one of them, but it is really nice to be able to fit both of these cell phones in that little pouch because I hate having to search around my whole bag and like go through every single area of my bag when I'm getting like a call or something. It's nice to just have like a little compartment in which I can put both of these in. On to the next little compartment. This is the Tarte Guard SPF Mineral Powder Sunscreen. For those of you who've seen my last video, you know that I raved about this and this is a product that I still love very dearly and still would recommend till the day that I die, no joke. When I'm going to work or when I'm doing some sort of all day event where I have makeup on the whole day, I typically don't reapply sunscreen throughout the day just because I don't want to mess my makeup up. And that's obviously not good because you're supposed to reapply sunscreen, you know, every few hours. But with the SPF powder, you can just apply it over your makeup and it's a translucent powder so you can't tell when you apply it and it doesn't mess with your makeup at all. So it's just the most amazing thing. I reapply this whenever I go to the bathroom to like freshen up at work or if I'm about to go walk outside for like a cup of coffee. So all in all, this is just the most amazing like makeup product. Additionally, in this little area, this is the coconutbalm.com from Glossier. I actually thought that this was going to be more of like a lip balm type of thing, but it's actually like a Vaseline type consistency, which I knew before buying, but I thought that it was going to be a little bit less like of a thick consistency. I've been using this though and I really like it after I realized it wasn't like a regular chapstick. It pretty much provides you with all the benefits that Vaseline does, but if you get it in coconut, it smells like coconut. I really like it honestly. This is the type of product that I typically don't like just because I'm like, it's overpriced Vaseline, but it's actually a really cute product, so I'm gonna use it till the end and see if I want to repurchase it or not. This product is the best if you have random breakouts all the time. This is the Clean and Clear Persa Gel 10. This is a great on-the-spot treatment, and for me, I'll bring it to work with me. One, in case I randomly get a pimple throughout the day, which is the most annoying thing. I like to stop it before it gets too bad. And two, if I have like an active breakout, I feel like throughout the day applying this helps to minimize it and helps to get rid of it quicker as opposed to applying some acne medication in the morning and then waiting until you get home many hours later before taking care of the breakout again. I have this lipstick by Stila. This is a stay all day liquid lipstick. This lipstick stays on through everything. It does dry out your lips like most matte lipsticks do. I have it in the color Perla and I bought it from Sephora. And lastly, in that little compartment, I just have this pen. 
It's a very basic pen. I just got it at one of the hotels I stayed at. I like keeping it in that compartment because it's tall enough where I can just see it and grab it when I need it and I don't have to search throughout my whole bag again just to find a pen because it's so annoying when you have to do that. So towards the back of the bag and on the other side of the laptop compartment, there's an additional compartment that's actually super soft. So first and foremost, I have my AirPods. These AirPods are just the regular, I think generation two AirPods and they are in this little case from Amazon. If you work with a lot of people who also have AirPods or if you have siblings that also have AirPods, it's super easy to just mix them up and I don't want that to happen. So um, I like putting them in this little case. It was like $5 from Amazon and it makes it look even more aesthetic. And it also adds protection to the AirPods because that's important too. Additionally, in that little pouch, I just have this native deodorant. This deodorant, I also talked about in my last video. Best deodorant ever, it's the most subtle design and cute design. You never know when you're gonna have one of those days where you're like super active randomly at work or it's like a really hot day and you're walking to work and you just get to work and you smell so bad for like 9 a.m. This is the way to go. Moving on, I have this little Burt's Bees chapstick. This is just a regular chapstick that I feel like every single person ever has in their bag. I feel like it's the worst look when you're just talking to someone and you could feel your lips like just so dehydrated. So having chapstick in your bag is always very important and I find that Burt's Bees does the job with making my lips not only feel moisturized but also keeping them moisturized and healing them even if I have like chapped lips or super dry lips. And lastly in the little compartment I just have this cover-up stick by CoverGirl. It's really nice to have a little cover-up with you just in case you do get a massive breakout throughout the day or if cover-up that you've previously applied just decides to come off halfway through the day it's nice to have this because you don't want to be in the situation where you're like thinking about you know this blemish that you have on the middle of your forehead the whole day it takes away from conversations and it's just like on your mind so having a little cover-up stick can really be a big game changer on days like that moving to the back now in the top pouch right here all i have at the moment is just this little lightning adapter for some reason mac decided to get rid of usb cords and it's just made my life so much harder than it needs to be at work so this comes in handy a ton so one of the features that i love about this bag and one of the main reasons why i purchased the Tumi bag is because of the trolley sleeve or the luggage sleeve. Tumi has their add a bag system where pretty much this area right here on this specific bag unzippers and it turns into a luggage sleeve so you can put it on your rollerboard or just any other bag that you have where it would be suitable for this type of feature. But another cool thing about this is that it's multi-functional or multi-purpose, I guess. So you can still use it as a back pocket. So even when unzippered and used as a trolley sleeve or when it's on your roller board, um, this back area also has a pocket inside of it. So it's closer to the bag itself and it doesn't open up when the bag itself down here is unzippered. So in this little back pocket right here, I have my external hard drive. Drive. This is something I use for YouTube videos pretty much just because YouTube videos and editing and uploading videos to your computer in general takes up so much storage. So having my external hard drive with me has been super convenient, especially in times where I find myself having some downtime. This is a great thing to have. And lastly, I just have my Away Bag portable charger. This isn't by the company Away, but it comes with the Away Bag. I rarely actually have this in the actual compartment that's meant for the portable battery just because you have to take it out if you check your bag or anytime you get on an airplane. Regardless, it's a great portable charger and it actually makes more sense to have it with you on the plane in case you run out of battery and you don't have an outlet in your chair or anything like that. So having this with me has been a huge game changer. The light just went out but that's okay because I'm done showing you guys what is in my work bag. That is my review and my little tour of the Tumi Stantanoni that I bring with me every day to work. If you've enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up because that really helps my channel to grow. And if you want to see more videos from my channel, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. Thanks again for all of your support guys and I will see you in the next video.